Hello friends. I know you're working so very hard today, so I wanted to come on here for your reading time and talk to you a little bit about what you need to do for your reading assignment today. First of all, you're going to notice on this slide that we have the book here, Whistle for Willie, the book that we read yesterday. Um, the character here is Peter, and he is outside in the big city and he wants to learn how to whistle so that he can call his dog Willie. And you remember reading the story at the very end after working really, really hard, he was able to whistle. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the book um, when you're done watching my video here and you're going to listen to the story again to get it fresh into your mind. And you're gonna think about what you remember and maybe what you noticed this time in this um, read aloud that you did not notice the last time that we read it yesterday. After the story, you're gonna click over here to the next slide, and your goal is to show how you can make connections to the story. That means that something that's happening in the story or something that the character is doing might remind you of something that is going on in your own life or something that you think or feel. So in the story, Whistle for Willie, whistling is hard for Peter. Peter keeps trying through the whole story to whistle. He even pretends like he's his dad, like he's a grown up. But then finally, towards the end, he did it because he didn't give up. So I want you to think about something that is very hard for you to do, something you wish you could do, but you just can't quite do it yet because it's really hard. Think about how that feels to try hard things and what you would have to do um, in order to meet that goal, in order to be able to do something that you really want to do. You can watch these videos below. A little bit later or even before um, it talks about just how to set a goal for yourself a goal is is something that you just want to work on and be able to do um, then you have this little banner right here and I've made mine already right here you're going to find this banner in your supplies and you're going to get a pencil and you're going to write a sentence that tells what your goal is I wrote my goal down here I'm not sure if you can see it very close but it says I want to learn how to teach kindergarten online, which is what we're doing right now. And every day there's a new challenge that I have to learn um, to figure out. So I wrote down my sentence. So you're gonna do that on your kindergarten goal banner as well. And if you're not sure or don't remember how to write a complete sentence on the next slide, I put our five star sentence, um, I call it a scoring guide down here. It's just a little checklist, tells you what you need to have, a capital letter, finger spaces between your words, a period at the end, make your letters nice and neat, stretch out your words, use your turtle talk to hear those sounds, and then when you're done, go back and read it and make sure that your sentence makes sense, okay? When you're done, you can decorate your banner, you can color it kind of nicely, make sure you don't color over your writing, and then you can cut it out and hang it up somewhere in your home to always remember the goal that you're trying to work on and maybe that will motivate you to practice a little bit and then whenever you reach your goal you can be so super proud of yourself just like Peter was when he learned how to whistle okay when you're done make sure you take a picture of this and share it with me in the discussion board or you can even make a video of yourself reading your goal to me in the discussion board and I will get on there and check um, what your goal is, and I we will talk about it tomorrow during our class meeting. Okay, everybody, good luck. Happy reading. I'm proud of you. You're doing such a good job, and have a great day, everyone.